Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Stern, Stern Chiropractic, helping you and your kids maximize your health, performance, and quality of life naturally. Well, Happy New Year and welcome to 2019. Today I wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions. Some of you have set them, some of you have set them and stopped them already, some of you are continuing forward and trying to achieve them. Well, I'd like to give you some information that hopefully helps you with your health for this year and years to come. It's all about lifestyle. That's right. So we think about diet. Don't think about diets. Think about diet. What are you putting in your body on a regular basis? Are you limiting yourself and restricting yourself? Or are you just choosing healthy foods? The big idea is that we need to nourish our body with good nutrients. Many times it's less focus on the actual number of calories, more focus on the quality of food that we're putting in and the quantity because these days we'll go out and eat food and the portions we're served are huge. Even if it's a nice balanced meal, huge portions. So your first step may be to focus on the quality of food you're putting in your body. We all know we need good healthy vegetables and fruit in our diet, lots of water, the refined processed carbohydrates, white sugar, white flour, processed fast foods, soda pops and things. We know those aren't good for us. They're not providing us nutrition. They're definitely uh, causing weight gain. Those are the things you may want to look at eliminating. Exercise. Well, I try to do it regularly. I spin regularly, I do yoga, and then I also do some things for my mental emotional health with deep breathing and meditation. I think the key here really is find something you love to do. If you love walking, walk. If you love riding, ride. If you love swimming, swim. But don't try to force yourself into activities that you think are going to help you lose weight or you think are going to get you healthy because it's really hard to keep up with those. Do something you love to do, and every time you do it, you're going to feel better when you're done. And that's the idea behind exercise. A biggie that a lot of people forget about is sleep. We forego sleep for a lot of different reasons, but guess what? It is vital for your body to function properly. Everybody needs a different amount of sleep, but on average, adults need eight hours or so. Kids more than that, depending on their age. As they're younger, they need more sleep. With that said, it's also about the quality of sleep that you get. If you're taking medications or other things that are helping you get to sleep, they do interfere with your body's ability to get into REM sleep, which is the time where you really have rest and rejuvenation. And that's the key to sleep, is that it's a time where your body can rest and rejuvenate and heal and be ready for a great new day. So this year, make sure you give yourself enough time to get enough sleep. And watch those kids, because I know with mine, you got to make sure you're pushing them to get enough sleep, because they love staying up late at night. So sleep, a very important thing. And going back to what I said earlier, mental, emotional health and stress relief. We all need to take time for ourselves. Now, each one of us finds emotional relief in different ways. Some talk with friends, some meditate, some do deep breathing, some pray. Whatever works for you, build time into your day to do it every day. It's a vital component of optimal health. And if you want your body to function right, taking care of that mental emotional health is vital. Because here's a big idea. Chiropractic is all about optimizing your health and performance. It maximizes the master control system of your body. That's the nerve system. It's how your brain communicates with your body and your body communicates with your brain. But you know what causes interference on that major communication pathway between your brain and your body and your body with your brain? Stressors, chemical, physical, and mental emotional stressors. And we just discussed them all. The chemical stressors are primarily the foods you're eating. So going back to it, have a healthy diet, vegetables, fruit, a lot of water, cut out the garbage. The physical stressors, more so than accidents and injuries, it's sedentary lifestyle and poor posture, 
So exercise regularly and work on your posture. And the mental emotional stressors. You know, you can get up from a junk food meal and reduce your chemical stress. You can get up and move around and straighten up your posture and reduce your physical stress. But if you have problems with your family, problems with your kids, problems with your friends, problems with work, guess what? That stuff doesn't just go away when you get up from the table. Those are the hardest things to address. And sleep doesn't really fall into any specific category, but really is an important part of all of it. Now, if you're doing all these great things for yourself, you're eating healthy, you're exercising, you're trying to manage your stress, guess what? You still may notice you're not getting the benefits that you want. And there's a big reason for that. The reason is that it's very possible that you've got interference in your nerve system, interference in that communication process. That's what chiropractic does. It locates where that interference is, uses gentle corrections to eliminate it, to allow your body to use that great input you're putting in to its maximum potential and to optimize your health, performance, and quality of life naturally. If I can be of any help with you and your family achieving your health and wellness goals this year, please feel free to contact me. Look at our newsletter archive. I've got years and years of health and wellness newsletters there for you to use. Well, I hope this is a phenomenal year for you and your family. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.